Jupiter in the North Island, there lived a giant named Finn Nicola. Hey, that's me! One yeah. thing Finn is seated to has said his, the sea to have done was to make a road that crossed the sea from Ireland to Scotland. You can still see what's supposed to be the first stretch of the, that road. It's called the Giant's Causeway. And it's a group of great rocks all fitting together. Now the story happened when Finn was building a road. At the, at the time we're talking about, Finn was a war giant. He'd been told that another giant called Colin, Carlin was looking for him to challenge him to a fight to find out which of them was the strongest. <laughs> this Cahillan was said to have beaten every giant in Ireland except Finn, and the thought of meeting him face to face made Finn shake in his boots. Oh, that's scary at first. Well, when Finn had been working away from home a good many months, he took it into his head to go home and see his wife, a fine woman named, named Una. It was two countries away, but sure that wasn't far for a man like Finn. He pulled up a fir tree by its roots, a full grown tree, mind you and stripped off the branches to make himself a walking stick. Then he set off, and in no time at all, he reached his own mountain and the house that the house that he'd built on it. There, and there was Una to greet him. Hey, Una, my love. I've been. I'm glad I'm to see you. I hope you're a bit hungry, for I have fixed a little something when I saw you come. She sat him down to a grand meal of three whole roast oxen, thirty boiled cabbages, and a pile of her best bread loaves, which she'd just taken from the oven. Mm, a fine of cook never filled this great belly. But Una could see that her husband was worried about something. What ails you, Finn? <sighs> Ach, Una, it's this cool Holland. Finn told her how the dreaded giant was looking for him. And every time I suck me thumb, I get more and more worried about him. You see, Finn had a magic thumb, and if he'd sucked it, it would warn him of any danger. Now Una was worried too, but she had an idea. Go now and look across the mountain for his coming. You're sure to see him on his way, and that'll give us time to, to, to prepare a welcome. So Finn McCall did what his wife did, for he knew her to be a woman of great good sense. And inside the house, Una cleared the table and began to bake, began baking a new batch of bread loaves. These were big, flat loaves you can still see in Ireland to this day. But this was a special batch indeed, for inside each loaf she had put a great iron griddle. Well, at last, well, at last Finn ran into the house. Una, he's coming, and what a terrible size of a giant he is. If I run away, I'll be shamed forever, but if I stay behind, he'll be sure to beat me up. Up the, up, up the easy now, Finn. Just do what I say, and before the day is out, maybe his own forefinger will betray him. You see, Cahalla had a, too had a magic finger. All of his strength was in the forefinger of his right hand, and if he... If he'd lost that finger, he'd be no stronger than any ordinary man. Ah, he's coming, Una. He'll be here in no more than a minute. Now hold your tongue, Finn, and put on this nightgown of mine. Eh? Oh, how do I do that? But this is woman's clothes, and I don't know me lines. Woman, what do you think you're doing? Tr trust me now, Finn. <sighs> oh. So, grumbling away, Finn put on his wife's nightgown. Yeah. Una put her white bonnet on his head, then pushed him toward a cradle in the corner. <sighs> what is this? 
Do I have to do this? Come on. It's kind of... Just lie down there, Finn, and you'll need this baby for coaching. Come on, this is ridiculous. Now keep quiet. Now keep yourself quiet and leave everything to me. Just then, Kahalan came walking up fast to the house. <coughs> good day to you. That best not be my mother. Come in then and well, good. Twill grieve my husband to know that you called when he wasn't here to grieve. She's here. Well, now that's very civil of you, woman. But it grieves me even more to, to learn he's not at home. As I was told, I'd find him here. Well, now we were told wrong. The thing is away at his causeway. He wanted. He went rushing the, there in terrible rage. It seems that some giant called Cahalin was has been looking for him, and Finn went off to teach that fool a lesson. Then I'll go and find him there, for I'm called Owen, and I won't rest till I have settled any ar argument about whether he's stronger than me. Uh, don't be in such a hurry. Come and take your, re your rest a while. You'll need it if it's Finn you're going to fight, for he's twice your size and ten times stronger looking. Finn nearly fell out of the crater with, with pride. She just let him go. But Una wasn't so anxious to get rid of Kahala. Now, just set yourself down and I'll have a meal ready for you in no time. I've got the bread all baked and a lot of you put a stew on the fire. Oh, while you're waiting, I wonder if you do me a favour. A cold wind blows in the door this time of day. Would you be so kind to turn the house around? Finn always does it for me when, when he's home. Certainly. Up he got and went outside with no bother at all. He picked up the whole house and turned it to face the other way. Una was a bit surprised because Finn himself couldn't have done it. She just made that up to frighten Cahalan, but she didn't let on when he came back in. Thank you kindly. There's just one other thing. I'm hoping you won't mind me asking. Ask on, good woman. Finn was going to make a new well for me near the house, but he forgot to do it. He left in such a terrible temper. There's a water under all the rock of for certain. All you need to do is pull the mountain apart. All right then, I'll see if I can find it for you. Off he went again from the front door. Una watched him as he put his big fingers into a little crack in the rock. And with a couple of tugs, he ripped up the mountain side so water gushed out. Now Una had made up that one too. So when he came back, she again tried not to look surprised. Come in now and eat. She sat him down and put his food before him with a big pile of bread loaves, the ones she had made with iron brittles inside. Now that's fine looking <coughs> bread. Kahalo picked up a loaf and sunk his teeth into it. Ah, a thousand thunderbolts! Woman, what did you put in your bread? Nothing. What else you told a man? That, that's the bre bread my husband eats six dozen loaves of a day. You mean he eats this stuff? Sure, it is hard, this rock, and I've lost one of my good blood teeth on the first mouthful. Didn't I say you were a poor weak thing compared to Finn? Ak, you'll regret, regret the day he finds your, his hands on you. Nonsense, if he can eat this bread, so can I. He picked up another loaf and dug his teeth into it. Ah! I've lost my other teeth! Man! Man, it's a good job you never met up with Finn. It's more than your own front teeth you'll have lost. You're tricking me? 
I don't believe any man eats bread like that. Oh, don't you just now. Just wait till, till you'll see this. She took one of the loaves off the table and walked up to the cradle where Sid was lying just like a baby. This is Finn's son. Isn't he quite a little lad? Just like his daddy. Go, 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 go. Here you are, Mida. Have a bit of bread. Now, this loaf looked like all the rest, but Una knew it was only it was the only one without an iron griddle. She gave Finn a wink. Then Finn took a bite out of the loaf that took half the side of it. That's amazing! And you tell me this is Finn McCool's child? None of, none of it. So you can guess what size of a man his daddy is. He must have a powerful set of teeth. Now this was just what Una was hoping for. Oh, a grand set. Just lift your finger in there to feel them. Open your mouth now, baby, and let nice man put his big, strong finger. So Cahalan slipped his great right forefinger into Finn's mouth. Push it, in, push it well in, till you feel the back ones. Cahalan pushed in his fingers as far as it would go. Snap! Finn bit it off, swallowed it, then leaped from the cradle. Ah! Get on with his road. You hear me? 